Taylor, you are up ready to go. If you want to borrow a full racing suit, we do have one up here at the tower for you. Mr. Morgan, if you want a full racing suit, we do have one available for you. We're going to get this show underway. We've got our rookies. Our rookies are on the track now. We are green flag racing in heat race, number one in the rookie division. It looks like last week's winner, Mason Harper, is taking the early lead. We've got some bumping and banging back there on the back straightaway as Lane Gross pulls into third place. On lap number one, the number seven of Mason Harper is your leader. We've got... <laughs> Joseph Baldwin in second. And Elijah Sykes in third. Lane Gross falls back to fourth. Mason was racing last week or last race with us here. Was a winner of Junior One and Rookies. He went over to Volusia for the Vega race and did very well over there. Had a good showing. Very fast young man right there in the number seven skulls racing machine. Our battle for seconds heating up. That's Joseph Baldwin and Eli Sykes. Eli's looking to the bottom, pulls up on Baldwin, lets off for turn three. They're going to be battling it out here for that second position. We are halfway home in this rookie heat race. Halfway home. Coming by the stand here in that number 30, Lane Gross. He's been racing now for about three weeks with us. Getting some experience in. Got him a shiny new body and a new paint scheme out there this week. We've got two laps to go here in the rookie heat race. And Mason Harper's got him a little bit of a lead and a cushion here. Mason's hooked up pretty good here tonight. Got Mr. Andy Partridge doing his tires there, and that thing is flying, and it's hooked up. Andy's prep certainly definitely working. That battle for second on this last lap, heating up a little bit. Eli looking for a way around the 44X of Baldwin. Off the turn four, the first heat race winner of the night is going to be Mason Harper in the seven. Coming down to the finish line for second place. It's going to be Joseph Baldwin, Eli Sykes, and coming in fourth place. Here he comes around that number 30. That's Lane Gross. Next, up next is your junior ones. Junior ones, you're up next. Junior two, you should be up there getting ready, and junior three, you'll be behind them. We're going to try to get through these heat races pretty quick here tonight. Make sure that you get your 50-50 tickets before intermission so we can get that 50-50 out of the way. And we want to make sure that everybody knows that half the money goes into the points fund and half the money goes to a lucky winner every week for that 50-50. If you're sitting here in the stands tonight and you've got a family member at home that wants to watch all the racing, tell them to tune in on YouTube or Facebook to Bullring Live. We're getting... Couple thousand views each week here on Bull Ring Live. We've got a couple of our rookies pulling double duty here tonight. They're going to run with these junior ones because the junior ones tonight are going to be running for some good money. All of our junior classes tonight will be taking home, uh, all of our juniors that came in tonight will be taking home a free ice cream cone from Sonic as well as the top three in all of our junior classes will be getting a $10 gift card to Sonic. 
That's courtesy of Sonic here in Ocala. We have also got some sponsors that come on board for our Junior 1 division. Top of the line concrete pumping, Gerard Haley tonight. He put up some money as well as Dixie Speed Racing. Our winner in the Junior 1 division tonight will take home 50 bucks, 30 to second, 25 to third, 40 for fourth, uh, or excuse me, 10 for fourth and 10 for fifth. And that's all for just $20 to enter. That is the best, most affordable price of any track around. And they're racing for cash. No extra entry fees, just kids having some fun getting to race. We really appreciate our sponsors coming in, taking care of putting up this money. So here's your Junior 1 heat race on the pole. That's the 96 of Taylor Jones. Outside pole, the 57 of Ashton Garrett. Looks like the 44X of Baldwin falls in the inside of second row. Number seven of Mason Harper, outside second row. Eli Sykes in that number eight, he'll run again. Parker Haley in the number two. He's pulling up there to the inside of the third row. And Braden Britt in that number 88. He's gonna start on the outside of that third row. Eli's gonna tag in on the back of this one. Seven junior ones. Seven junior ones out here tonight. And they're rolling. We're going to get this heat race underway. Off of turn four, they're all lined up. Taylor fell back a little bit there. Flagman says that was not a good start. We're gonna try that one one more time. Try to give them a better chance to get a, a little better start. 96 of Taylor Jones, she's here in her first year of racing. They come out of Plant City. We'll get them all lined back up here. I don't know if Taylor started on a front row before. We know Ashton has. He's a feature winner here at Marion County Speedway. Once again, this class is also sponsored by Sonic tonight. Sonic of Ocala, top three finishers in the feature. They'll be getting a $10 gift card to Sonic. Getting all these kids lined back up each time. These kids are 8 to 10 years old. Some of them... Their first year of racing, some of them got a little more experience. Uh, Mr. Scotty and Mr. Jeff out here are lining them up on the front straightaway. Trying to help these kids get in line, make sure we have a good clean start. Some of them are used to tracks that start with single file starts. We've got a quarter mile track and about 60 foot wide blazes. Uh, we're plenty good here to start double file. We do not seal this track, so you can run pretty much anywhere on the surface and be competitive. And we make double file starts happen here. It's a good learning experience for these kids, especially if they're gonna move up to stock cars at any point. You don't ever see stock cars starting single file. And off a of turn four, a much better start. They were side by side. All right. 
right, we've got one down there in the bottom of turn three. Yellow flag is out. That looks like the number two of Parker Haley. Got to get a couple of them swapped around here. He got them lined up a little out of order there. Out there on the outside of turn number two in that bright orange shirt, that's Mr. Brian Rosendahl in flying photography. They're still not in the right order here. Scotty's going to get off back there and try to get them lined up right. We'll get them lined up here. We uh, had a few people call in tonight, a few people that didn't make the trip because of the rain that was in the area. So we got a little short-handed on some of the help. Had some good volunteers step up to say, hey, we'll do it. So bear with us here. We'll get this lineup correct. We ask you to please respect our staff and not scream and holler at them as most of them are not paid very well as they are at most dirt tracks. This is all about having some fun and hanging out with the family. So we just ask everybody to be respectful out there of that. I was mentioning before, Brian Rosendahl out there in the orange shirt taking pictures. By now, most everybody has seen Brian's photography work and flying photography. If you look over by the concession area, you'll see a black tent. That is where you can purchase your pictures. He always gives us a lot of free photos to, uh, to hand out and to use for our posters and stuff. And we ask you to support his photography business. You hardly will ever see a better picture and uh, what he can take. He can really get in there with that lens and let you see what the look on their face is. And we really appreciate flying photography for being here at Marion County Speedway. He actually had the opportunity to be at Eldora tonight, and he's here with us. At uh, last minute, couldn't make it up there, and we just appreciate having that high of a class of fly or a photographer being here. You don't get that at most local tracks. All right, we are going to try one more time to get this junior one race going, and we are green flag racing. A fan out down that front straightaway. Ashton Garrett to the front. Mason Harper to second. Parker Haley to third. Taylor Jones started on the pole. She's side by side on the back straightaway. She's going to pull it up into fourth in front of Baldwin. All these kids getting some laps in. 
We have Eli Sykes stop down there on the front straightaway. He's going to get it rolling again. Here he goes. He's got it rolling. Out front, Ashton Garrett. He is strolling right now. He's a hard one to catch. Got him some new power on there this week. Feeling good about his chances tonight. Mason Harper running second. He got Parker Haley there in third, Taylor Jones in fourth, Daniel Baldwin and Braden Britt rounding out that first group. Taylor Jones swings it to the high side, looks to the outside of Haley, no room right there to get around. Haley maintains that third position as we are halfway home. Meanwhile, out front, if you're watching at home or you're in the stands, you're probably standing up cheering for Ashton Garrett in that 57, having himself a great run tonight. Two laps to go. Junior two, junior two, you need to be on the grid. Junior two, you need to be on the grid. White flag is in the air for your leader, the number 57, Ashton Garrett. Harper riding there in second. Haley, Jones, Baldwin, Britt, and Sykes out there on the track. Coming off a of turn four, looking at that checkered flag. It's the number 57, your winner, Ashton Garrett. Mason Harper in that number seven. He gets second. Barker Haley third. Taylor Jones with a strong fourth. Daniel Baldwin and Braden Britt. And here comes Eli Sykes rounding out the field. At your junior one heat race. Junior two, junior two. You're up next, junior twos. Junior three, you'll be coming out after them junior twos. And Predator 400, you need to be working your way to the grid. All right, our junior three had a late entry, kind of built the field up pretty heavy there, so we are going to split the junior threes into two heat races. The kids are down there. They should be down there on the grid, and our, our guy on the grid, he has the new lineup. We'll split them up a little bit there, give them a little bit leaner class, at least leaner in the heat races anyway. So junior two tonight, they are also sponsored by Sonic, and at our driver's meeting, J and J Design Builders. J and J Design Builders put up forty dollars for the winner of their feature. I'd like to thank J and J Design Builders. I don't have much more information on J and J Design Builders, but go to the internet, look it up, Google it, support these businesses that support Marion County Speedway. We really appreciate them. All right, we're out here with our first heat race of Junior Twos tonight. Looks like we've got Preston Arbogast on the pole in that powerhouse number 48. Zach Zachary in the number 43. Aiden Sykes in that number four there. He's going to pull to the inside of Zachary, and he's going to take that second position away. He's going to set his sights on the leader, that 48 of Arbogast. He's fast every week and hard to catch. Heat race number two of the 
Junior twos, you need to be on the grid ready to roll. Heat race number two, Junior two, be ready to roll. Preston Arbogast continues to lead in the 48. We are halfway home in this first Junior 2 heat race. Aiden Sykes running a strong second. Zachary still out there riding in third in that number 43. There's going to be two laps to go this time by. These kids out here right now, they're 8 to 12 years old, or excuse me, 10 to 12 years old in the Junior 2 division. Run a purple restrictor plate in these motors. Basically the same motor as the adults, just with the restrictor plate. We'd say it slows them down a little bit, but it don't slow them down a bunch because Preston is flying around there tonight. He's going to be into 3 and 4, and as he comes off of 4, he'll be looking at that checkered flag. There's your winner, the number 48 of Preston Arbogast. Running second, the number four, Aiden Sykes. And here is number 43 coming around. That's Zach Zachary in the number 43. He's your third place finisher. Heat race number two. Heat race number two of our junior two. You're up next. Top three in that junior two class. They're going to be getting them gift cards from Sonic tonight. $10 gift cards for the top three and $40 to the winner of the junior two, courtesy of J&J &J Design Builders. Junior three, you should be on to the staging area. You'll be in two heat races now. Junior three will have two heat races and Predator 400. You're going to be behind them. First call for Flatheads. First call, Flatheads. Y'all be behind the Predator 400s. It won't be long before you'll be racing. Heat race number two on the track now on the pole. That's the 03 CJ Nelson outside. Hannah Smith, uh, we got a Got a good start here. I do not have a name on the number 11, but whoever it is in that go-kart, he's flying. He's right there with him. <laughs> We've got Randy Smith back there in the number eight, too, running fourth. Right now, though, up front, Hannah Smith is your leader. C.J. Nelson taking a look to the inside, the number 11 right there with him. One, two, three, right there together in this junior two heat race. CJ Nelson to the inside. He's got the line down the back straightaway. Hannah powers back out front, though. She is not giving up that lead, and they stay the same. Off a of turn four, they're looking at halfway home, and Nelson back to the inside one more time. Hannah keeps that high line, and she maintains the lead. Nelson back to the inside one more time. The 11 moves up. He's going to look to the outside and try to get in on this battle. And one, two, three with two laps to go. It's still Smith, Nelson, and the 11. They're going to be looking at a couple of laps here to decide a winner. That white flag is out. One lap to go. The number 11 to the inside of Nelson. He's got the line down into one. Takes the position away. Nelson dives back to the bottom, looks back for it off a of turn two. Not enough, and the number 11 moves to the second position. We're coming around three and four, looking for that checkered flag, and your winner, heat race number two, Hannah Smith. The number 11 is gonna run second. CJ Nelson in that 03 third, and Randy Smith in the number eight is gonna finish fourth.
number 11, that was Hayes Shum. Hayes Shum with a great run out there, finishing second in that junior two heat race. Sorry we didn't have your name for the heat race, but when it comes down to the money in the feature and them gift cards, we'll have your name out there, Hayes. Got our junior threes on the track right now. That number 24 is going to lead them around here to this green flag. Mason Lastra on the outside. The number 16, Cole Frisbee coming back to race with us again. He was here last week. Cole's going to look to the inside, take that lead. Lastra falls to second. Looks like Vincent. I believe it's Vincent out there. Yeah, it's Brittany Vincent. Brittany takes that second position away, looks to the outside, and Brittany goes to the lead in that number 19. Brittany Vincent opens the door up on the bottom, and Cole takes the lead back. They're going to battle this one out. Going to give a mention to Andrew Bradley back there in the number 22. Only his second, second time here racing with us. Their family just now getting into go-kart racing. Glad to have them here with us tonight. Andrew Bradley in the number 22 back there. Meanwhile, up front, Frisbee and Vincent passing that lead back and forth. We are halfway home, and Cole Frisbee is still your leader. Vincent rides second, last or third. Two laps to go for your leader in that number 16. Cole was there with him last week. Apparently they've made some adjustments and got him out front tonight. Tonight, the junior threes also racing for a $10 Sonic gift card for each of the top three. And the winner will take home $20 courtesy of Old Fart Racing. Papa Sig and Old Fart Racing stepped up and sponsored our Junior Threes tonight. Didn't want to see them go home without any money. They're down through three and four. Vincent's going to try the high line. Coming around for the checker flag. Gets a little loose. Saves it. And your winner is going to be the 16 of Cole Frisbee. Vincent second. Lester third. Bradley fourth. We've got one more heat race in the Junior Three division coming up next. Want to make sure everybody knows we run one heat race, one feature event out here each Friday night that we race the carts. Tomorrow night, if you can make it out, we've got the sprints out here. We run our sprint cars on Saturday nights after the go-kart program. If you can't make it out, you can always catch that on Bullring Live as well. Tune into Bullring Live, watch all the sprint car racing action tomorrow night. On the track now, your second heat race in the Junior 2 division. Caleb Chatton in the number one on the inside pole. We've got Amber Netch out there in the 14, Timothy Zachary in the 43, and Caitlin Booth in the 27. Green flag is out. Booth swings it to the outside. Zachary tries to bring it through the middle. Netch closes the door. 
Nitch is going to lead him down into turn number one. Amber Nitch was your feature winner last time out here at Marion County Speedway. She's a little new to dirt track racing, but she's got it down pretty good already. She's a little sideways off of four, leads Zachary off of four, and she is still your leader. Zachary to the inside, tries to make room. Nitch holds on there side by side, down the back straight away. Timothy Zachary takes the lead going into three. Nitch is going to look back to the outside. She swings it out there. I don't think she's let off once here. And Burnett's just riding in second. Kate Limbooth in third. Caleb Chatton still there in that number one, riding in fourth. We're going to be halfway home this time by for your leader, Zachary, in the 43. Zachary sporting that number 43 tonight in memory of his cousin, Shane Christian. Shane always ran that 43, and the Zachary family always proud to run a 43 in his memory. And right now, Zachary's doing it proud with two laps to go. Netch is still right there in second. Caitlin Booth riding in third. Off a of turn four, the white flag is in the air. Timothy Zachary still leading. Can he hold on for one more lap in your junior three heat race? Predator 400, Predator 400. You better be on the grid and ready to roll. And Southern Flatheads, you're right behind them. Into turn three, off a of turn four. He tucks it all the way to the bottom. And your winner, heat race number two, junior three, Timothy Zachary. And Burnett tried second, Caitlin Booth in third. And I'm going to get his name right. Caleb Chatton in the number one. Here he comes for fourth place. All right, Predator 400. Southern Flyheads, Box Stock 400. Then we're your next three classes. Let's get them to the grid. Predator three, Predator 400, Southern Flyheads, and Box Stock 400. Tom Sheehan to your pits. Tom Sheehan to your pit. Uh, they're looking for you at your pit, Tom. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Tom's on the track. They're calling him to the pit, but Tom's riding in fourth place right now. That would explain where Tom has gone. They thought he had got old and wandered off, but Tom's out there racing. He's actually where he's supposed to be tonight. So here in your Predator 400s, out front, that's Robert Annis out there in the lead. He's got some company there to the inside with Charles Smith. Elizabeth Phillips out there in that new paint scheme on the number 314. Elizabeth does her own vinyl work on those carts. Looking sharp out there. And Elizabeth looks to the inside of Smith. She's got the line. She's got the run. And Elizabeth Phillips takes the lead down the back straightaway. Off a of turn four. Phillips looking strong tonight. Phillips continues to lead down the back straightaway. She's chased by Smith, Antis, and Sheehan out there as we're halfway home this time by. Tonight, your Predator 400 class and your Predator 350s are sponsored by Carabas. Carabas has put up a $20 gift card for our winners of our Predator 350 and 400. The winners of these two classes tonight They've got a meal coming to them at Carabas in Ocala. 
If you'd like to get in on all the sponsorship deals here we've got going, something as simple as a gift card will get you mentioned. Between the websites, we're getting about 20,000 or more hits a month. Bullring Live catching about 3,000 views a month, or a week, actually. It's a good way to advertise and get your business's name out there. We've got packed stands, packed pits. There are people everywhere around here who will hear your name every time it's mentioned. All our print literature as well. Meanwhile, on the racetrack, Elizabeth Phillips in that 314. She's looking at the white flag. She's leading Charles Smith around here. Antis still rides third, battling back there with Sheehan. Off of turn four, this is the first time I had the opportunity to say this. Your winner, Elizabeth Phillips. Charles Smith second, Robert Antis third, Tom Sheehan fourth. Up next, listen for the noise, listen for the noise. It's going to be your Southern Flatheads. Southern Flathead Division coming out on the track next. Box Stock 400 to the staging area. Open four-stroke behind them and Predator 350. Box Stock 400, open four-stroke, Predator 350. Y'all are up behind these Southern Flatheads. So on the track now, we are green flag racing with the Southern Flatheads. Down into turn one, Brandon Smith in the two, 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 takes the lead. We've got up three wide down into turn three. It's the whole Beckelheimer clan there. <laughs> Dustin Beckelheimer second, Ryan Beckelheimer third, and I believe it's Al Beckelheimer fourth. I could just say Smith, Beckelheimer, Beckelheimer, Beckelheimer. <laughs> Todd Maiden running down the Beckelheimers. Rob Wirtz out there in the number six. He's riding in fifth position. Maiden to the inside. He's looking there trying to get a position on one of the Beckelheimers. You got to pass the whole family if you're going to pass one of them. Brandon Smith still your leader. Brandon in the 2-2-2, two, 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 still leading out front. We're missing the fearless leader of the Southern Flatheads, Nick Witt, out here tonight. Nick in the night stalker, stalker wasn't able to make it, not feeling real good, but he'll be back with us next run. Brandon Smith, that 2-2-2 two, two, two cart, tornado engine powered, riding out front. We've got the whole pack there together at the back. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all right there together. Rob Wirtz has ran him back down. He's to the inside of Maiden. He's looking for that fifth position. Maiden slides high. Wirtz takes the fifth position over. We're two laps away from the finish. Can Wirtz do anything with the Beckelheimer bunch? Wirtz to the inside of Al Beckelheimer. He takes the fourth position away. One Beckelheimer now, two to go for Rob Wirtz if he wants to get around anymore. He looks to the inside of the next one. That's Ryan Beckelheimer. Wirtz looks to the inside. No room this time. He gives him a little bump. White flag is out. Wirtz looks to the outside, pulls up beside Ryan. Ryan moves up high. There's no room up there. Wirtz back to the inside. He pulls up beside Ryan Beckelheimer. Wirtz is up to third position. But the race is over now because the checkered flag's in the air and your winner, Brandon Smith. Dustin Beckelheimer second. Rob Wirtz third. Beckelheimer, Beckelheimer, Maiden. That's the final of the field. Coming up next. I had way too much fun with the Beckelheimers, guys. It's a mouthful to say it three times in a row. Try it yourself. Box Stock 400's coming out next, followed by Open Four Stroke and Predator 350.
right, green flag is in the air, and we're box stock 400 racing. In the lead, that's the Batman, Carl Whitehouse. But we've got two around in turn one. Yellow flag is out. But while we got the chance, we have to say, no, 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 Batman. I didn't say it with enough enthusiasm, but I'll let y'all do it at home. Carl Whitehouse was your leader. Looks like Charles Smith was out there with him. Charles going to take him a shot at winning him some wings tonight because the box stock 350s and the box stock 400s are running for $100 to win each. Win both of them, get 50 free wings from Hooters of Ocala. If nobody wins that one, we're going to have a 10-lap dash for wings at the end of the night. Carl Whitehouse powers out front. Carl's been doing this for about 40 years, y'all. Still fast everywhere he goes. That's Carl Whitehouse in the lead in the 192. Smith in second. Horton in third. We've got him tangled up back there for fourth. That was the 0-2 of Bradley and the 11 of Taylor Morgan. Bradley super sideways off the top of turn two. Allows Morgan to get by. Morgan moves up to fourth. Carl Whitehouse stretching the lead out right now in that 192. He has got that thing hooked up. Looks like Morgan now has moved up to the third position. Taylor out there trying to run down Mr. Smith in second. Charles Smith pulling multi-cart duty tonight, running in several different classes. Carl Whitehouse with about a half a straightaway lead now. Morgan to the inside of Smith. He's looking for that second position. And Taylor Morgan with two laps to go is going to take second away from Charles Smith. Horton still riding there in third. Bradley still right there sideways through one and two. White flag is out for your leader, Carl Whitehouse. Carl on cruise control right now. Off a of turn four, checkered flags in the air. Your winner, Carl Whitehouse. Taylor Morgan second, Charles Smith third, and Bradley's going to get fourth because Brian Horton did a little loop-de-loop -loop down there in the bottom of turn four. Spun her around. On the track now, your next class out. Box stock 400, box stock 400, your, excuse me, not box stock 400. This is your uh, second heat of box stock 400, sorry. We've got two heats of box stock 400 tonight.
All right. Box Stock 400 on the track now. Right now, your leader, the number five, the Kryptonite race at number five of James Williams. Riding in second, Doc Deal. Last week's feature winner looking to the inside. That's Timmy Hatcher in the 197. And we've got... All right, we're getting through this one. We've got the number five is going to be running both classes. So if Corey made it here on time, that's actually Corey Holly on the number five. He was the winner of last week's Vega 1,000 to win race at Volusia County Speedway, Volusia Speedway Park, whatever they call it these days. Corey Holly out there leading now in the box stock 400s. Hatcher riding second. He won both features here last week as the white flag is in the air. Hatcher won the 350 and 400, looking to try to do it again this week. Doc Deal in the D13. That's one of our veterans out there racing tonight. Doc always here with us on our Friday night shows, putting on a good show. And in the number 11 in his first appearance in a box stock, Brad Sanderson. Your winner, the number five kryptonite racing, Corey Holly. The 197 of Hatcher is second. Doc Deal third. And Brad Sanderson is fourth. See, I'm saying the 197 of Hatcher. He runs the 197 in lights in the 97 and 400s. Those cards look a lot alike because they are. <laughs> that one will throw me off every time. Super easy, right? Easy to throw me off. <laughs> Coming out next, we got a couple of open four-stroke cards that want to have a little fun tonight, so we're going to let them run. Up next should be our box stock, or excuse me, our open four stroke. Remember, you should be in the grid ready to roll when your heat race is up so we can get through this show. It's already 10 p.m. We haven't made it to intermission since we started a little late with our heat races. Usually it's the ones that don't make it to the grid that complain about how late we run. Here comes one of them. That's a 75. Tyler Newhouse waiting on the number five of Tom Sheehan. Predator 350, you're up next after these guys. Predator 350, then the Sportsman and the Box Stock. Predator 350, Sportsman and Box Stock, you're following the Opens. After that, we'll have intermission. If you have not made your way to the concession stand yet, please do so and buy yourself a 50-50 ticket. We'd like to give away some money tonight, and we'd like it to be more than 50 or 60 bucks. More tickets you buy, the more money you can win. There is no line, no waiting over at the concession stand. Go over there and see Michelle. 
She'll cook you up some hamburgers, hot dogs, whatever else you need. There's all kinds of food over there at the TZ Motorsports concession stand. And we got the parts trailer as well. Every week we bring that parts trailer out. We promote, I, or, uh, I promote, I announce, I bring a parts trailer, and my wife makes everything work down there. We try to do everything we can at TZ Motorsports to help put on a good show here at the Bull Ring, and we appreciate Bill letting us do it out here. And yes, Jessica, we appreciate you coming out here and scoring for us. I'm just going to give Jessica a microphone and let her co-announce these things while she's scoring the races. Uh, we're going to have to do it on a time delay, though, because you never know what she's going to say. Maybe we'll give Dan one up here in the booth, too, and just let Dan say a few things about it and hand one to the flagman and have a few live mics. Well, that was an awesome open four-stroke race. Uh, Sheehan didn't make it out, and we've already got one being towed off. It looks like he may have made it about 200 feet. I think that makes him the winner. So, Predator 350s, I hope you're up there on the grid. Predator 350, Sportsman and Box Stock 350, them are our next classes. Coming out now, your Predator 350 class. Got a lot of new faces coming out tonight in this class. The 45 of Scott Worstein joining us tonight to race, as well as the 21 of Heather Worstein and the 33 of Bradley Jordan all joining in on the Predator 350 show. Of course, as always, we've got Charles Smith in the 23 and Robert Annis out there in the 5. Slowly we roll around to the green flag and that light comes on. We're racing. Oh. We're missing a couple of carts. They didn't make it out here. One of the worst team bunch made it out. So right now, your leader, the 23, that's Charles Smith, Papa Sig, riding there in second place in that number 28. Navy veteran Papa Sig riding out there tonight. Another veteran out there in that number 5A, Robert Annis. And making his first appearance with us tonight in that number 33, Bradley Jordan riding strong out there. Worstein looking to the outside of Annis. Oh, excuse me, not Worstein. Jordan looking to the outside of Annis. We got a side-by-side -side battle back there for the third position. Meanwhile, Charles Smith up front. He's taking the halfway home sign. Sportsman, sportsman, you're on deck. Sportsman, you're on deck. Box stock 350, you'll follow the sportsman. Two laps to go for Charles Smith, your leader. Smith looking at the white flag. Papa Sig still riding a strong second. Jordan third and his fourth. We've got one lap to go, so sportsmen, y'all better be ready. Sportsmen, it's your turn next. 
Hannes and Jordan still back there battling it out for the third position. Side by side, Annis takes the position back. Charles Smith, meanwhile, he's won. He's already to the pits. Cooling off, getting ready for his next race. Papa Sig riding second. Third, we've got Annis, and it looks like Jordan had some problems down there in turn three and four, but he's going to bring it around on that maiden voyage and bring home a fourth position in the Predator 350. Sportsman coming out next, Sportsman. Tonight, your Sportsman division, they're running for Pizza Hut. Sportsman's running for a $25 gift certificate to Pizza Hut on Silver Springs Boulevard. Sportsman division tonight. Those guys run animal engines. So you're about to hear a little bit of noise out there on the track. Turning some fast lap times. We've got some hot competition in this class. Sportsman always, always a tough one to win. Looks like we had a little change of plan. We're going to let one of the open carts that didn't make it, we're going to let him run his laps. That's Tom Sheehan and his number five machine out there making some laps. Looks like he had some issue. He didn't make it when he was going to be out there before, but now he's trying. He paid his money, so we're going to let him take his laps, right? Sheehan's bringing it in. If you lost a cell phone, got a picture of what's probably your kids on the front, you may want to check your pocket. This looks like a pretty expensive one. It's got a picture of a fruit on it. If you've lost your cell phone, it was over by the stands, you might want to come up here and check it out. Identify the phone. Coming out now are your sportsman carts. Going to get all three of them out here. We've got the 04 of Christian Vincent. The number three. Hey, 
And checking to see if the number three is on the grid. And we've got an extra card out here. All right, we had one on the track at the wrong time. All right, we had some issue with one getting cranked over there and another one coming on at the wrong time. We, uh, we're going to get a roll in here now. It looks like Vincent and Laird are going to be your two sportsmen for this race. Laird registered as stand on it or stand on it. Snuck that one past the scorekeeper. He's going to have to stand on it if he's going to catch Christian Vincent, though, because Christian is pulled out and pulling away. Box stock 350, you're on deck. Box stock 350, the last class before we run our, or have our intermission. Buy your 50-50 ticket now so we can get that drawing over at intermission. Christian Vincent continuing to lead here, getting them laps in, hoping that he can do the same in the feature and bring home some Pizza Hut. Halfway home in the Sportsman's. Vincent continues to lead. John Laird out there in that number five, riding in second. White flag in the air for your leader, Christian Vincent. Once again, you need to check and see if you've lost a cell phone. We've got one up here. There is a cell phone that was turned into the tower. If you can identify it as yours. Sportsman, winner, heat race, Christian Vincent. Second place, John Laird. If you've lost a cell phone that likes to play Pokemon, it's saying something about a Pico Blast or something up here. I don't know what all that means, but if your cell phone's up here and you've lost it, it wants to play Pokemon with you or something. All right, coming out now, your box stock 350s. Sanderson's going to be starting from the pole. Williams on the outside. And the green flag flies, and James Williams is going to go to the front. Netch gets turned sideways there in the middle of the front straightaway, lets out. I don't think they uh, were sure if we were on green or what. Did 
All right, we found the owner of the pokey phone. Got a couple of them here that are need to switch positions. Looks like the card of Hatcher and Lundy need to switch positions. Get these cards switched around here. Got Mr. Scotty on the front straightaway. Going to get them all lined up. I think they got it figured out now as Joe Lundy pulls it up there in that zero. So your lineup for your box stock 350 first heat race event. On the pole, Brian Sanderson in the number 11. On the outside pole, the number five, the Kryptonite race in the number five of James Williams. Inside second row, the number zero, Joe Lundy. Outside second row, the 51, Rick Netch. And bringing up the rear, that's the 197, Timmy Hatcher. Winner of both feature events last week. Going to see if he can do it again. This class is running for $100 to win tonight. And if he can win both races, he'll bring home a 50, 50 wings at Hooters. Green is out. They fan out down into one. Lundy looking to the inside of Williams. Lundy to the inside. Lundy, your leader. Hatcher's going to follow him through. Williams back to third. Ditch in fourth. Sanderson fifth. Got Ditch to the inside. Ditch is going to take the third position away from Williams. It's Lundy, Hatcher, Ditch. Hatcher to the inside of Lundy. Lundy pulls it on out. He's going to lead another lap. Joe Lundy leading here at the bull ring in the 350s, but Hatcher is going to pull up beside him on the front straightaway, side by side. Looked like they were giving hand signals to each other going into one. And they were actually kind hand signals. They were, they involved all the fingers. You don't see a lot of that in go-kart racing. <laughs> so off of turn four, it's still... Hatcher, Lundy, and Netch, your top three. Lundy slides high. Netch is going to look to the bottom this time. See if there's enough room. Lundy pulls him down into three. We're going to be halfway home this time by for the 197 of Timmy Hatcher. Netch looks to the inside of Lundy one more time down the back straightaway. Had a good line in, but Lundy pulls it a little deeper into the corner. This time he drove in a little deep, though, and it allows Netch to pull up beside him off the bottom on turn four. Netch has got the line down into turn number one, takes the position away. Lundy looks back to the bottom, but this time Netch is going to pull second down the back straight away. As they come around, they're going to be looking at two laps to go for the leader, the 197 of Hatcher. We're going to have the white flag in the air and one lap to go. One more time around in this first Box Stock 350 heat race. Off of turn four, your winner, the 197, Timmy Hatcher. Rick Nitch second. Joe Lundy third, James Williams in the number five is fourth, and Brian Sanderson in that number 11, bringing it home in fifth. We've got one more heat race before intermission in the box stock 350s, just one more heat race. You've got a few more minutes to get your 50-50 ticket and try to win a little cash money tonight. Remember, every 50-50 ticket bought, Half the money goes to the points fund. Half the money goes to the winner. 
The track's not keeping anything off of these ones. We give it back to the racers at the points at the points banquet at the end of the year. Please support your points fund and buy a 50-50 ticket. They are available over there at the concession stand, unless she's out walking around with a bucket. Concession stand and the TZ Motorsports parts trailer located on the outside of turn one. Of course, I'm going to ask you to support the local parts trailer and concession stand because they're ours. <laughs> Box stock 350, second heat race. We're green flag. No, we're not. Flagman says no go on that start. Was not a good one. Not a good one. Flagman always starts the race on them initial starts. So we want to make sure that we get some good starts out here. Bill says no go. No go on the start. He shuts the lights back off. Looks them back over. And this time we're going to go green flag racing. Zane Caleb to the bottom, to the point. It's Caleb, Smith, Morgan, and Sanderson. Ah, oh, you know what we haven't done tonight? We haven't said hi to Taylor Morgan's mom back in Mississippi. Hey, Taylor's mom. And meanwhile, on the track, Taylor out there trying to find a way around Charles Smith in that third position for that second position. Zane Caleb continuing to lead in that number three out front. DMR racing. They've kind of fanned them out a little bit here. Caleb with a comfortable lead. Smith riding there in second, Morgan in third, and Sanderson in fourth as we've reached the halfway point of this heat race. All right, we're ready for a intermission to be here and we're almost through with this last heat race the number three of caleb got a decent little lead now as he's going to be looking at two laps to go this time Sanderson back there trying to catch Mr. Morgan. White flag is out. Sanderson swings it out high. Not enough room. And off of turn four. Checkered flags out for your winner. Heat race number two, Zane Caleb. Charles Smith second, Taylor Morgan third, and Dylan Sanderson. He's in fourth place. We are now at our intermission. We're going to get our 50-50 counted up here, get the numbers together so we can get some lineups posted. Try to take a brief break here. We won't want to be too long on this one, so make sure you're getting those carts fixed back up.
frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue, zipping on a jean and juice.
Test, test. All right, we're counting up the 50-50 now. We're going to call this number, and we're going to get a winner on, and we need to start getting the rookies over to the staging area, rookies to the staging area. We're going to have a storm coming up on us, and we're going to try to finish getting this show in. All right, we just got another thing that says that that storm is coming this way. So let's get the rookie or the rookies over there, junior one, junior two. Let's start working our way over towards the staging area. I am down here behind the stands working up. Danielle just drew a number for the 50-50. You got your 50-50 tickets out. 328-580. 328 580. I walk towards the tower here, so we are kind of in our normal places. We're just trying to get this thing going. 328 580. Is there a winner over here by the tower already? I see a hand in the air. Oh, I don't see anybody here. I might have to draw another number. Um, yeah, might have to draw a different one. Three two eight five eight zero. Oh. It looks like the Kryptonite Racing Team's got him a win tonight in the fifty-fifty. He's counting it out right here. That's why you buy your fifty-fifty early. We were gonna make another round around, but we uh, we got this storm coming, so we're gonna get everybody in here. Lineups are posted. Lineups are posted. Your feature lineup is posted. Rookies, rookies, start bringing them around to the front straight away. Rookies, straight away. Guys, lineups are posted. Lineups are posted. Rookies, we need you in the grid. We got a storm moving at us. We are going to get this race in. All drivers, come check the lineup board. Please make your way to the grid. Test, 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 test.
Test, test, test. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right, we are going to cut the feature laps to eight for the kids, ten for the adults. That's just two laps less than we normally run. And the pictures for the win will be at the scale house. Pictures for the win will be at the scale house. That way we can get all these races in because there is a big storm coming this way. Please make sure that you are at staging when it's time to race. Rookies. Rookies should be on the front straightaway. Rookies on the front straightaway. Junior one in staging. Junior one in staging. Junior two behind them. Rookies are on the front straightaway. Junior one in staging. Junior two behind them. Eight lap features for the kids. Ten lap features for the adults. And the win pictures, we're going to move those over to the, st to the uh, scale house area. Scale house area, as you come across the scales, you'll get your one, two, three pictures. And once you clear the scale house, in between races, I'll try to hand out the prize money. That's the best we can do tonight if we're going to get this show in and not get everybody caught here in a thunderstorm. Lineups are posted at the tower. Lineups are posted at the tower. I've only got two rookies on the front straightaway. There's only two on the front straightaway. I know there's more rookies out there wanting to win this one tonight. I'm going to need the rest of you rookies to get up here to the front straightaway. These rookies, we need the rest of you out here. Rookies to the front straightaway. Don't miss your feature event. Rookies to the front straightaway. Junior one, junior one, you're in staging. Reminder, we have rain coming, and it's not going to hold off for anybody to be fixing tires or doing anything else. So let's get them out here, guys. Let's get this feature event underway. I'm missing, I believe, the 44. Mr. Baldwin, Mr. Baldwin, get it out here.
All right, we're ready to get these feature events underway. You got your rookies on the front straightaway. Rookies are on the front straightaway. They're ready to fire, and we are green flag racing in your rookie feature event. Junior one, junior one. I need the junior ones to the staging. Junior one, junior one to the stage, and we got the rookies on the track now. And right now up front, your leader, Joseph Baldwin. He's followed closely by Lane Gross. Lane out there running second. He's got Mason Harper right behind him in that number seven. Sykes and Britt, they round out the field here. Baldwin is out there in the lead. The winner of this race is going to get $25 from top of the line concrete pumping. And uh, top three, top three get Sonic gift cards. Top three Sonic gift cards tonight. $10 from Sonic for that top three. We've got a battle for the lead up front. Baldwin's holding on right now. He's got a challenge from Harper who's come up behind him and is looking for a second win in a row. Lane Gross still riding right there in third, running strong. He's got a challenge from Sykes coming up behind him. Harper to the inside. Baldwin noses out. We've got a new leader on the back straightaway, Mason Harper, but Baldwin's not done yet. He dives it back to the inside. They're side by side through three and four. Baldwin's going to take the long way around. That's going to allow Harper to get out front. We're halfway home in this rookie feature event. Your leader, Mason Harper, Baldwin second. Lane Gross has given up the third position to Sykes. Junior one, junior one, you need to be in the staging area, junior one. Remember, we are not stopping on the front straightaway for pictures. We're going straight to the scale house. First through third pictures will be taken there at the scale house. So junior one, you're going to pull right back out on the track here. Right now, our top three will be staying out on the track anyway. So there'll be a quick turnaround there as we've only got two laps to go in this junior, rookie junior feature event. These five to eight-year-olds out here battling it out, and right now it's all Mason Harper up front with Baldwin in second, Sykes in third, Gross in fourth, and Britton fifth. White flag is out. One lap to go for Mason Harper. Off a turn for your winner, the rookie feature event, Mason Harper. Baldwin is second. Sykes is third. Gross right there in fourth. And Brent brings it up in fifth. So we're going to get them turned right back around here. You've got three or four out here that are going to pull double duty. Junior one, junior one, you're coming out next. Junior one. Our winner, Mason Harper, he'll have to get his picture for that, junior, that rookie win over there at the scales here shortly because he's going to go again. Mason's going to take home $25 from top of the line concrete pumping. And he's also going to get a $10 gift card to Sonic, as well as Baldwin and Sykes will both also get a $10 gift card. We're going to get all our junior ones here together. Junior two, junior two, we need you on the grid. Junior two, you should be on the grid. You're up next behind these junior ones. Junior three, you'll be right behind the junior two. Remember, we're not taking pictures on the front straightaway tonight with this weather rolling in. We're going to take the pictures over at the scale house.
Junior one, junior ones are on the track right now. Junior two, you should be in staging with the junior threes behind them. Predator 400, you'll be behind those junior threes. Remember, these junior features are only going to be eight laps tonight. Junior ones out here right now. They're going to carry a hot little pace down here in the turn four. They want to get this thing started. It's Ashton Garrett on that front row with Parker Haley right beside him. It's Garrett Haley into one. Who's going to give first? Garrett's going to pull the lead down and through off of two. Haley's going to hold on for a second right there. He was side by side with Baldwin. Baldwin. Harper. He's going to slide it through right there. They're going to bounce off of each other a little bit. Taylor Jones, that 96, she pulls it up to third. Now, Mason Harper is running light. Wasn't able to get weight onto his cart, so Mason's just out there making laps. So right now, your number one is Ashton Garrett. And Taylor Jones will actually be your second, and Parker Haley will be third right now. Jones is going to look to the inside of Harper. She is focused tonight, having one of the best runs of her time here. Garrett, way out front, got a comfortable lead. Got a little piece of debris on the front straightaway. We're going to get the track worker in between the carts to pick that up. Looked like one of them picked it up and carried it all the way into turn one. Jones to the inside of Harper there side by side one more time. Remember tonight in the junior one, first place is going to get 50 bucks, second place is 30, third is 25, fourth is 10, and fifth is 10, courtesy of top of the line concrete pumping and Dixie Speed Racing. Also the top three in the junior one are going to take home $10 gift cards to Sonic. We've got two laps to go, Ashton Garrett out front. Looks like he's got this one under control right now. Taylor Jones in that second position. We've got one lap to go. Down the back straightaway, your leader, Ashton Garrett. He's got to roll it through three and four. Off of turn four, that number 57. Let's give a cheer for Ashton Garrett, your winner. Second's going to go to Taylor Jones. Third to Parker Haley. Fourth to Braden Britt. Fifth is going to go to Baldwin. And sixth to Eli Sykes. Junior two is up next. Junior two, you're up next. Junior three, you need to be in staging. Junior three, you need to be in staging. You're going to be up behind them. Predator 400, start working your way towards staging. On the track now, your junior two division. Preston Arbogast is going to lead him for the pole. Hannah Smith on that outside is going to see if she can get the run. The green flag is in the air. They're side by side down the front straightaway. <laughs> Hannah's going to lead him down into one. Preston's still on the inside. They're side by side up off of two. Preston's got a nose on the back straightaway. Hannah's been fast on that outside, though. 
Let's see who lifts first. It looks like Preston Arbogast is gonna lead him down through. Hannah's gonna duck it back to the bottom and see if there's room. Shoom on the inside of uh, Hannah there, Hannah Smith. Shoom in that number 11, looking for that second position. Your top three in the junior twos tonight. They're running for Sonic gift cards as well. And the winner is gonna take home $40. Winner of Junior 2 takes home $40 tonight, courtesy of J&J &J Design Builders. I'd like to thank J&J &J Design Builders for putting up a $40 for the winner of this Junior 2 feature event. Right now, Preston Arbogast, he's in control of this race. Smith rides second, Shoe third, Sykes fourth, Nelson fifth, Zachary sixth, and Smith in seventh. We're going to be halfway home this time by. I make sure, need to make sure them junior threes are over there in staging. Junior three, you're next. Shum and Smith battling for that second position. Hannah holding on down the back straightaway. Preston Arbogast with a fairly comfortable lead now down that front. The only battle for position on track now is for that second position. We've only got two laps to go. Preston Arbogast in control right now. Shum looking for a way around Smith. Hannah's got that line down tight though, down through the corners. Sykes stalking in fourth position, waiting for somebody to make a mistake back there. He's still in striking position, but they've only got one lap left. Preston Arbogast, your leader. He's down into turn one. All he has to make is one more lap. He'll take that $40 home if he does. Down the back straightaway into turn three. And off of turn four, your leader, your winner, Preston Arbogast. Hannah Smith will be second. Hey, Shum third. Aiden Sykes and C.J. Nelson, Zach Zachary, and Randy Smith rounded out. Up next, oh, well, before we go to the next one, I just want to thank once, once more, thank Sonic for putting up these gift cards and J&J &J Design Builders for putting up that $40 for our Junior 2 division. Definitely want to say thank you to everybody who sponsors our races here at Marion County Speedway. Junior 3 is on the track now. On that pole position, you've got Cole Frisbee outside. Timothy Zachary, we've got one trying to catch up back there before we get him started. We're gonna hold him up for one more lap. We've got Vincent on the inside second row, Netch on the outside second row. These junior features tonight, we're cutting them back to eight laps. We've got inclement weather in the area and we wanna get these features in. The adult features are only gonna be 10 laps tonight. So Frisbee and Zachary, front row. Both of them a little anxious to get this thing started. Flagman looks them over off of turn four. They're firing. Let's see who goes out front. It's Zachary, Frisbee, Netch. Vincent is looking to the inside. She's going to try to take that third position away from Netch. Laster is going to try to get in there in that number 24 and try to get a little piece of the action. Up front, it's Frisbee and Zachary. Laster to the inside of Netch, trying to take that fourth position away. No room there. We've stretched out the top five a little bit. It's Zachary out front and Frisbee in second. We've got a battle for third. Netch to the inside of Vincent. She's looking for the position. Vincent closes the door. Netch is going to have to stay in fourth for one more lap. 
Vincent to the inside. She's trying to the outside. She's got split down the front straightaway. Lastra to the inside. Lastra goes to third. Vincent's going to look back to the bottom. Netch is on the outside. It's Lastra in the third position, and Netch and Vincent are side by side. Meanwhile, up front, we're halfway home, and Zachary's still your leader, but he's got a hot shoe on his back. Frisbee looking to the inside. Frisbee comes down. He's going to take that lead away from Zachary coming up off of two. Cole Frisbee to the lead in the number 16. Zachary falls to second. Laster to third. There's in third. Zachary back to the inside, but Frisbee's got a good line off of four. Zachary got loose there, and that allowed Laster to catch up with him. Laster almost took that second position away. Off of turn four, it's Lastra side by side with Zachary, and Lastra goes to the second position with just two laps to go. Zachary back to the inside of Lastra trying to get that position, but Lastra holds on down the back straightaway. They're going to be looking at the white flag this time by Cole Frisbee up front. Got some clear sailing up there. White flag is out for Frisbee. Lastra second, Zachary third, Nedge fourth. Who's going to come home with this one? Netch to the inside of Zachary. She's looking for that position as we're going to be coming around to the checkered flag. Your winner off of turn four, if he can hold on because he's got some challenge. It's Frisbee. Lastra. Looks like Netch and Zachary found each other, and Zachary ends up on the dirt bank on the inside of turn four. So Laster is second, Netch is third. Vincent Booth, and the one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get it all here. I can't see over there. All right, I got it now. There was all kinds of stuff going on around us here. Cole Frisbee, your winner of that junior three feature event. He'll take home $20 courtesy of Old Fart Racing and a gift card to Sonic, $10 gift card. Mason Lastra with a strong second place run. He'll get a gift card as well to Sonic. And Amber Nedge with that third position. She doesn't take no junk from those boys out there. She gave it to him and took that third position away. Brittany Vincent was fourth. Caitlin Booth was fifth. On the track now, we've got our Predator 400s. That means Southern Flatheads, you need to be on deck. Southern Flatheads on deck, followed by Box Stock 400. Southern Flatheads followed by Box Stock 400. We're missing one on the grid here. We've only got one flathead in the grid. Flatheads, you need to be in the grid. You're up next, and there's only 10 laps until your race. Do not miss your feature. Flatheads, you're next. Box stock 350, you're following them. Up front in this box, or in this, excuse me, Predator 400 race. Elizabeth Phillips, your early leader in the 314. She's got a contender in Charles Smith behind her. Robert Annis following there in the third position. Still side by side for that lead. It's Smith on the inside, Phillips on the outside. Neither one given an inch. Flatheads, flatheads, you should be on the grid. You're up next. Flatheads on the grid. You're up next. This race is going to go on whether you're there or not because we've got weather coming in and we're going to get these features going. We are not waiting on anybody tonight. It is time to race. 
Pretty much, if you haven't raced yet, you need to find your way to the grid because they're going to go through here pretty quick with 10 lap features. Charles Smith up front right now. Tonight, your Predator classes are running for $20 gift cards courtesy of Carabas. Carabas Italia Grill in Ocala putting up $20 gift cards for the winners of our Predator classes tonight. Halfway home in this Predator 400 race. Southern Flatheads and Box Stock 400, you're to follow. Southern Flatheads, Box Stock 400, you're up after these guys and girls. Charles Smith out front in that number 23. Phillips giving chase. She wants a win here. She's getting her best run of the night, her best run that she's had so far. Smith's cart having a little trouble up off of turn four. Something's wrong. Phillips is able to close in. And Phillips is gonna take the lead after Smith has some problems. And they're gonna be looking at two laps to go this time by. Two more laps here for Elizabeth Phillips to hold on for a win. And Charles Smith's cart is cutting out. Something's wrong. Annis is able to catch up, make the pass for second. And mechanical problems for one leads to a white flag and a one lap away from a win. Can Elizabeth Phillips hold on for one more lap? She's been fast all night. Through three and four. Coming off of there, the number 314, your winner, Elizabeth Phillips. Robert Annis in second. And Charles Smith will stay out there long enough for that third position. I need the... Box stock four, or excuse me, Southern Flatheads are coming out now. Box stock 400, box stock 400. You're going to be on deck, followed by open four stroke. Box stock 400, followed by open four stroke. They're on their way in the box stock feature. In the sport, excuse me, in the flathead feature, we're underway in racing. Out front, Brandon Smith. Second position is Rob Wirtz. And then we've got a Beckelheimer in third. Todd Maiden riding there in fourth. Wirtz, he's closing in on Smith. He don't have many laps to get it done, so he's coming forward early. Wirtz right on his back bumper, letting him know he's there. Wirtz to the inside, Smith on the outside, down into turn three. Smith is closing the door, but Wirtz is working that bumper over. He looks to the inside one more time. They're side by side on the front straightaway. Rob Wirtz takes the lead. Smith falls to second. Tonight, your Southern Flatheads are racing for... 
a family four-pack of movie tickets to the Ocala Six Center Six Theater. Trying to say that whether or not right here on top of me. Racing tonight in the Flatheads for a family four-pack of tickets to the Ocala Center Six Theater. And it looks like Rob Wirtz is wanting to go to the movies tonight because he has went to the front of the pack. Smith still rides second. Beckelheimer, Mayton, Beckelheimer, Beckelheimer. That's your field right there in your flathead division. We are two laps away from the finish, and Wirtz is your leader. White flag in the air. Rob Wirtz has been trying for the season to get up front, and right now he is out there. Looking for his first feature win with us here at Marion County Speedway. Brandon Smith still trying to track him down. Todd Mayton has found his way up to third place. Off of turn four, checkered flag is in the air. Your winner, Rob Wirtz. Brandon Smith second, Mayton third. Beckelheimer, Beckelheimer, Beckelheimer. Southern Flathead feature, always a good contention race there. Always going to be some action in that race. We got the Box Stock 400s coming up next. Box Stock 400s, you're up next. I'm really sorry, folks. We're going to have to wait till these races are over to hand out the awards. I am trying to announce, hand out, get pictures taken and everything else right now. And there only are a few of us, so we're going to have to, uh, we're just going to have to wait. <laughs> There's only a few features left. They're going to go fast. So if everybody's patient with us, the payouts and the trophies will be handed out after the feature events. Everybody down. Everybody down. On the track now, your box stock 400 feature event. Whoever wins this one takes home a $100 bill, and if you can win the box stock 400 and 350 like Hatcher did last week, you'll take home 50 free wings from Hooters. And Hatcher is going to try to go to the early lead. Oh, excuse me, not Hatcher. Carl Whitehouse goes to the early lead. Corey Holly is going to be in that number five. Taylor Morgan to the inside of Holly. Whitehouse up front. White House, Holly, Morgan, Hatcher, that's your top four. Raindrops starting to fall here at Marion County Speedway. This is why we were pushing hard to get through these features. Had some rain in the area. We are hoping this rain will stay off to the side of us long enough where we can get these feature events in. And right now, it's all Carl Whitehouse up front.
Halfway home. Your leader, still Carl Whitehouse, but Corey Holly makes the challenge to the inside. Holly takes the lead. Morgan's going to try to go for second. And Taylor Morgan's going to take the second position away from Whitehouse. And now it's all out front battle for the win here in the Box Stock 400 between Corey Holly and Taylor Morgan. If you haven't raced yet, you should be over at the grid. If you haven't raced, you should be at the grid. Open four stroke, you're on deck. Predator 350, Sportsman and Box Stock 350. There's two laps left in this race. Open four strokes, you are on the grid, rolling out next. White flag in the air for your leader, Corey Holly in that number five. Into turn three, last week's winner at Volusia and this week's winner in the box stock 400 at Marion County Speedway, Kryptonite Racing's number five, Corey Holly, Taylor Morgan second, and Carl Whitehouse third. Box, open four stroke, open four stroke, you're next, followed by Predator 350. All right, this is your open four strokes. We're going to give him a chance here to get it started, but we got rain in the area, so we have got to get this rain under a race underway. Predator 350, be ready to go. Sportsman and box stock 350. All payouts, all payouts and gift cards will be given out after the last feature. I am one person, and I'm trying to announce a race, and I cannot, I can't hand this stuff out right here and take care of all that we're trying to take care of with uh, disqualifications that are coming through and all that. Because you're all going to call me Monday morning about the points if they're not right. And if you don't give me a chance to go through these DQs, then they won't be right. So give me a little patience. I know you all want to go home, but I'm going to be here till 3 o'clock in the morning whether you are or not. So let's get this done. Our opens are on the track right now. We've had a couple of disqualifications, so we're trying to get through working with those. That's why we're having to wait till after the features. 
to hand out awards. On the track now, the number five of Tom Sheehan, the number 75 of Tyler Newhouse. This is your open four stroke feature. We're trying to get this in before the rain tries to get any closer. All right, out here we've got Tyler Newhouse in that 75, Tom Sheehan out there in the number five. We have got to get everybody over to the grid. Predator 350, Predator 350. We need you over there for your race. Predator 350 for your race. Sportsman and Box Stock 350, you'll be right there behind them. White flag is out for your leader, Tyler Newhouse. Looks like Sheehan's had some issue. And your winner, Tyler Newhouse. I need them Predator 350s to be over there. Predator 350s. All right, we've got our Predators on the track now. Predator 350 on the track. Charles Smith in the lead. Papa Six second. Robert Annis in third. And Bradley Jordan in, in fourth. Charles Smith with your lead. Charles Smith, your leader. Papa Sig and Robert Annis battling it out for the second position. I need the sportsmen. Sportsmen, you're on deck. Sportsmen are on deck. Box stock 350, you'll follow those sportsmen. These are 10 lap features, and this one is near in the end here. Two features left after this. Sportsmen and box stock 350.
All right, Robert Annis takes the second position away from Papa Sig. Charles Smith pulling away right now, trying to trying to redeem himself after some mechanical issues in the 400s. Running good right now, Robert Annis making that pass, taking that second position. We're just a couple laps away from the finish of this one. Two laps to go. Sportsman, sportsman, it's time. You are needing to be on that grid and be ready to go, sportsman. If you want a gift card, if you want a gift card, Danielle will be at the scale house and have those gift cards and prizes. I'll have the cash up here in the tower. I'll be I'll be handing that out here after the after the uh, box stock 350 feature. Gift card prizes are at the scale house now. The cash prizes will be in the tower as soon as we finish the last feature. Checkered flag, Charles Smith in the 23. He's your Predator 350 winner. Second place is going to go to Robert Annis and Bradley Jordan. Bradley Jordan in his first trip here is going to take home the third place. Papa Sig, he brings it home in fourth. Sportsmen, 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 it's all y'all. It's your turn to race. Our Predator classes were both sponsored by Carabas tonight. Both those winners taking home a $20 gift card to Carabas. If you were the winner of a Predator race, make sure you get over there to the scales and get your Carabas gift card. Coming out on the track now, it's your Sportsman Feature event. Sportsman's coming out on the track. Box Stock 350, you're the only race left after this. Box Stock 350. The winner of the Sportsman race tonight will be getting a $25 gift card to Pizza Hut. They're going to be racing these three carts, or your only three sportsmen left tonight. They're going to be running for $25 at Pizza Hut. That's a lot of pizza and drinks right there. Pizza Hut, Silver Springs Boulevard. Want to thank them for coming on board, sponsoring our sportsman class tonight. Christian Vincent in the 04. The number five, John Laird, and the number three, Dustin Mitch. Who's taking home some Pizza Hut tonight? Vincent takes the early lead, Mitch to second, Laird to third. Box stock 350, box stock 350, you are the last feature. You should be in staging, box stock 350. We need you in staging, box stock 350. Right now on the track, your sportsman feature, Christian Vincent in the 04, your leader, Dustin Mitch second, and John Laird is third. We've had a light drizzle here for about the last 30 minutes. We've had the had a great racing surface here tonight though. A little bit of water not hurting a thing. Just don't need a lot of water. Just don't need a lot. Halfway home for your leader, the 04, Christian Vincent. Vincent continues to lead. Mitch continues to run second, and Laird is still there at third.
Box Stock 350, we're just a couple of laps away from the finish of this race. You need to be on the grid. Box Stock 350, on the grid. White flag will be coming out this time by for Christian Vincent. Down the back straight away into turn three. It's been all Vincent this time around. And your feature winner in the sportsman tonight, that's Christian Vincent. Dustin Bitch runs second, and John Laird is third. Our last feature event of the night will be the box stock 350. If you want a gift card, if you want a gift card, those gift cards are at the scales. The gift cards are over at the scales, and all cash winnings are in the stand. I'll have them after the Box Stock 350 race. All right, we had a driver change in the number five. We had a driver change from the heat race to the feature, so the driver of the number five would start on the rear. James Williams drove the cart in the 350s in the heat race. Corey Hawley's going to be running in here in the feature, taking a shot at trying to win them wings as he won the 400 race. The winner of this race will receive $100. All right, we've got everybody lined up. If the number five of Corey Holly can come through the pack and get out front, he would take home 50 wings from Hooters as a bonus tonight. Either way, whoever wins this race will be taking home a $100 bill. Holly won the first one in the number five. Let's see who can take home the win in the second one. Hatcher and Caleb are going to lead them around to the green. Down into turn one there side by side. Hatcher and Caleb not giving an inch to each other. Holly already up to the fourth position.
Caleb and Smith side by side. They're kind of getting strung out here a little bit. We got a side by side battle with Taylor Morgan and Dylan Sanderson for the fifth position. Morgan takes a position from Sanderson. Corey Holly moves up on the car to Zane Caleb. To the inside, he's gonna try to take that third position away. Caleb hanging on strong down the back straightaway, not giving an inch. Down into turn three, Holly's gonna try again. He pushes it on in there, and this time it looks like he's got the position in. Holly to the third position. All right now up front, it's Hatcher and Smith. Holly rides third. He's two positions away from a 50 wing bonus. Holly's closing ground in as Hatcher and Smith continue to be one, two. Caleb rides fourth, Sanderson fifth, Morgan sixth. We've got a side-by-side -side battle for seventh back there between Lundy and Netch. Halfway home, halfway home, and Corey Holly's gonna pull it up beside Charles Smith. Smith dives it off into the corner. This time it's Holly to the inside. He's gonna try to go all the way to the number one and Corey Holly takes it to the lead all the way from the back of the pack, the number five of the Corey Holly all the way to the front. He wants him some Hooters wings. That's what we're talking about right there. Corey Holly, your leader. Charles Smith second, Timmy Hatcher third, Zane Caleb fourth. Sanderson fifth, and there's two laps to go. Last week, Timmy Hatcher pulled the double in the 197. This week, Corey Holly is one race or one lap away from pulling the double in the number five. White flag is out. Down the back straightaway, Holly starts to stretch it out. Off of turn four, he's done it. Corey Holly in the number five kryptonite race and takes the win. Charles Smith second, Hatcher third, Caleb fourth. And with that, folks, we have brought our show to a close. We are going to give away here. Give me just a minute to get back into the tower, and I'll get these cash prizes handed out. Like I said earlier,